Well, I mean, Kyle picked this one up for me, so let's try this Driftless Glen. Get me a fresh Glen for the Driftless Glen, because I don't want the flavors from this in the Glen to drift into this Driftless Glen, because this is not supposed to have any drift. Cabin tree and all that, but like this had the and nicest. Then, this had the nicest cork pop. I don't know if y'all heard that. I that is the that. nicest cork pop I've ever had in my entire life. Seven and a half. This is pretty good. Huh? Makes me want to try that other Driftless Glen because that's actually pretty decent. That's good. Yeah. What's the age on this weeded Driftless Glen? Aged five plus years. That's good. And I think it drinks. Higher than what it actually is, proof wise. It does. It is some sort of stain on the front of the label. Yes, you are right. There is some. I did not do that. It came to me in that way, um, and it's actually pretty good. Like yeah. that's. That's really that's, good. That's got some interesting things. I like that one. This driftless Glen, Glen. I want to call it Glen. Um, the driftless gl driftless Glen is really hard to say. It's not because I've drank a lot. It's just hard to say. Um, it's really good though. It is pretty solid.